Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Here we are back in MVP Baseball 2005. Although we are now in 2010 season, so that's what our sixth season, I believe, now with the Jays coming off our World Series victory last year. Trying to maintain, you know, another championship team, basically. So we're sitting here right now, first in the AL East. Devil Rays are only two and a half games back of us. They do have the wild card, so if we do slip, at least we're still in a playoff spot. I don't expect us to slip, though. Uh, today is the trade deadline. Last video, we made the big trade for this guy, Oliver Perez. Trying to bolster our starting rotation. We end up losing Sabathia and Alex Rios in that trade. But our team's looking fine, I think, right now. Our batting order, as we've gone through before, is disgusting. All these guys' batting averages are crazy. Uh, Gary Austin's the new catcher that we picked up from the Twins. Love having him play now. Uh, Morris is just the backup. He's good enough to be a backup, I think. Coco, outf backfield, the, not backfield, what am I saying? Outfield backup, there we go. Um, Etherton can be their backup shortstop, and Luis Gonzalez is their utility guy. We also got David Wright at DH, and our third baseman, Benson, his second position is outfield, so we can always throw him out. So I like how this roster is constructed, can move guys around a lot. Uh, back to the pitching, I know we were saying our bullpen isn't great, but honestly, once we go out and got Billy... Lance Carter's come up, provides some good depth for us. Tucker, hopefully his ERA gets better. Buck's doing fine. Durazo's doing great. He's closing games for us. So I think we're doing okay. We got these three down here in the minors who we can always call up. Ginter's pretty good. He's only 22. Alvarez is 27. 239 ERA looks good. And then Jesse Crane, the vet. Not a great ERA, but if we needed, we can always give him a chance. And then Mendes, he's down here as well. So we have options. I don't think we really need to make any more trades at this point. I know we tried to go after Figgins last video, but Rangers weren't budging on him. And honestly, our team doesn't have much to trade right now. I think we're pretty thin depth-wise. So I say we stay as is. And this offseason, we're probably going to have to get some more depth, better players. But for now, I think we're going to be okay. There we go, big win against Tampa, that's huge too, because as we just saw in the standings, Tampa's right behind us for second place. So that's a good good victory, put some space between us and Tampa. Wow, we got a big stretch coming here of a lot of games. Peavy, I forgot that we have Peavy coming back. Keep him on the 15 day DL there. Uh, let's take a look at the guys, if anyone's getting tired yet. No, nah, everyone's still in the 90s. No, I did not want to play it. I want to sim this. Ted Lilly, our old pitcher. He, he's having a good year, though, it looked like. Oh, shit. Buck gave up six runs in the bottom of the eighth to blow the game. Well, that's, that, that, that's pretty crappy. What does that do? Tam's only a game and a half back now. Okay, let's get through this Cleveland series, and then we're playing the Yankees. I don't know where the Yankees are in the standings right now. I didn't really look. Where are the Yankees? The Yankees are dead last, but they're only three games under 500. They're not terrible. They're 10 games back, and I've seen crazier things happen of teams being more than 10 games back and making pushes. And it's the Yankees. I'm sure they got some firepower there. All right, so Reigns has to come out here. So let's throw Etherton in. Morris is going in there. Third base, we can put Gonzalez in. And then Coco, what outfield position you want to go play? You can go in for Broussard. Oh, yeah, Everett. Keep that goose egg on the board. Let's go. Everett with 10 strikeouts. Great game. Everett's really coming along. He was our closer at one point, then he wanted to start, so threw him in the starting rotation, and it's starting to pay off. Cy Young race, we got Billy Alvarez third, Ted Lilly's first. Yeah, I knew he was having a good year. Dontre Willis for us seventh, and we got Broussard and Reigns, top six for the MVP race. All right, so next up is the Yankees. This is going to be a big series. So we're sending Hernandez to who they have. Oh, they have Kendall, our old catcher. 
Natsui, Jeter's still there, Smallenberg's good, Whitfield's good. Other than that, Brewer's normally pretty good. I'm surprised he's not in. Who? Oh, because they have Smallenberg in there. Then who's at short? Is that Jeter still? Interesting. I do like how the computer can move around their guys at different positions, but sometimes you wonder, like, they got Brewer who's good, they got this Rodriguez guy who's good, but then you have Smallenberg who's also good, but he's in at third. Like, why not move Jeter? Jeter's 36. I know he's a franchise I icon, but... Anyways, let's get Davis out, throw Gonzalez in there, and looking good. Wow, nine runs already. Oh boy, 9-7, at least we made a little bit of a push in the bottom of the ninth, but doesn't show on paper in, in the standings, that's for sure. Just like that, Yankees are only nine back of us now. Bueller on the mound today, another oh, nine, nine runs again, boys. I don't get it. Like our rankings first in pitching, first in fielding. Like we have good rankings. Like overall ranked first, but just dropping games like that right now. Win 250 total games, we're about six games off there, and win 120 road games, we're only five off. And it's August, so I'm expecting us to complete those goals and clean those three-year goals. Will hopefully give us more um, cash for our budget to spend on players. So hopefully next offseason we can sign some more depth pieces. Uh, Hummel, not sure who that is. Yeah, if we can get some more depth pieces, more trade chips really, because right now we don't have anyone to really trade, it feels like. We need everyone that we have. Still two and a half games up on Tampa there, I saw. Uh, Bueller uh, going up against Ted Lilly again. All right, Broussard's out for Coco. Morris goes in there. Third base will be Gonzalez. Etherton. He's about second or short. How's Reigns looking? Yeah, he's fine. Davis is getting tired. Uh, David Wright. We're going to put hit. Oh, no. Our Benson's off. Okay, forget it. We'll swap the other 80s out next game. Yes, that's it, boys. Get those bats going. 9-7 win. It's a good showing. Okay, let's get some more of the bench guys in. Now we got Perez on the mound. Yeah, we need Coburn out. Coco's going in there. Cook as a left fielder. Gonzalez can go in there. And then uh, Austin. No, you know what? We'll put Morris in at first. The catcher playing first is pretty common. Good fielding. Yeah, that's fine. I'm, I'm okay to put him in there. Should probably update his secondary position so it makes it more real. Oh my god, Choi. Five earned runs. Oliver Perez is out with straight. Ah, okay, it's only 12 days, but damn. Leave screen anyway. When's PV back? He, oh, they're both back in 12 days. Okay. Let's bring up a starter then to plug in for now. Wells, was ta Wells is doing terrible down there. Man, he's gone. Uh, we don't really have any good starters other than Gray Singer. He's got 31 career games. Yeah, you know what? Let's bring him up. And going down will most likely be... Oh, damn, Buck. That's bad ERA. Carter's got a bad ERA too. Choi, uh, okay, Carter's going down. And then Gray Singer, yes, he is into the starting rotation for now. Let AAA optimize those rosters, and let's head back. <clears throat> and then Greasinger will only get, what, one, maybe two starts? Okay, everyone else is healthy again. Although Reigns is a 91, we'll probably have to sub him out next game, put um, Etherton in. Atta boy Willis. That's why you're going for the Cy Young right now, Dontrell. That was a huge signing. Alright, two and a half up on Tampa still. I want to create some a bit of a lead there, though. Reigns is at an 88. Keep him fresh. Find a lot of guys get hurt middle to the end of the season in this time frame. Damn, 2-1 loss. Can't have guys hurt going into playoffs, so because, as we said, we don't have much depth to replace him with. So Baltimore is last in the division. They stole a game off us there. Now we're playing Boston. 
Boston's five and a half out of us. Okay, that's fine. We play Boston here, then Baltimore, and then back to Boston. Let's zoom up to here. OPV. Both have eight days left. Okay, let's move him. Can't move him to the bench yet. We're gonna have to send someone else down. Alvarez is still doing well. Buck is doing terrible with a 681 ERA. That is brutal. Tadano's doing okay. Yeah, I don't really know who to send down here. Tucker is 66 innings pitched. Buck only has 37. Yeah, send Buck down. And then DL, we can bring PV back to the bench spot. Yeah, our, our bullpen is thin right now, but it is what it is. Graysinger, he is not pitched yet. When when is he going to pitch? Should probably sim that game or manage that game. Okay, Bueller's there. Uh, Austin's already getting a little tired, so let's bring Morris in there and quick sim this one. Come on, Bueller. There we go. Good Bueller, twelve and five. Out of boy. Carter, you didn't do well enough up here, so that's why you got sent down, my guy. Got to figure it out. Uh, Graysinger, okay, beautiful. Let's manage this and see how he does. Oh boy. Well, that's a tough lineup to face. Manny Ramirez, Car Carlos Delgado. Dirksen's good. Ortiz is good. Manny Delgado. What? He, he got out of there with only one run. Waiting for these bats to come live to help him out here. He's getting tired though. He's, go he's going strong, he's going strong. Come on boys, yes, get it. Out of boy, Broussard, let's go. There's the bats, that's what we're looking for. That's Toronto Blue Jay baseball right there. Okay, he is exhausted. So let's bring in Choi. Ooh. Yikes. <laughs> And we have a tie ball game. Come on, boys. We need, we need those bats going again for us. Boy, Choi. I'm going to clutch here. Okay, Manny. What? He's 38 years old now. He's pretty good against lefties. Not as good against righties. So let's bring in a righty to face him. Alvarez is a lefty. Okay, we'll bring in Tucker. Damn it. Come on, Tucker. Keith Folk coming in close there. He's still pretty damn good. Out of boy David Wright. That's why we signed you for that power. Alright, so Tucker, you're gonna go into the tent here for us. Oh boy. Oh, this might be a long one. Gary Austin. Walk off home run. Out of boy. Tucker picks up the win. Gracinger, his ERA is probably crap. Yeah, 635, because all those runs end up coming in to score, but that's all right. He got the job done, so what? Boys, we're back in 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, let's him up to here, and then once PV and Perez are back, we'll have to juggle the lines, but Great Gracinger might have earned himself a long relief spot up on this squad. We'll see if he gets another start or not. If he gets another start and does well, then yeah, we can keep him up. Euler's pitching here. Everyone, uh, kind of getting tired. Etherton there. Keep it, keep everyone fresh. All right, Bueller, let's see it. That's it, boys. Durazo, 20-second save. Love to see it. Uh, we're still only one and a half up on Tampa. Tampa's running away with it. But mind you, they're running away with the wild card race, too. Boston's eight and a half behind us, seven behind Tampa. Yeah, AL East is back to being a beast right now. Uh, how are the goals looking? Slugging will will be fine for most runs scored. I think we'll be okay if we maintain what what our offensive output's been. Okay, Gracinger. Let's see if you can do anything again here against Boston again of all, of all teams. All right, all right, Austin. Damn, boys. Holy smokes. Seven-run lead for, for the kid. 
Well, Grayson, you better be able to work with that and get a win. Oh my goodness, Austin, two home runs already. Yeah, this is this is the team that we're looking for. Just smacking that ball around, scoring a crap ton of runs. Holy smokes, yeah, these bats are flying, boys. Make sure to save some, though, for later in the season if you need more runs. Don't score, don't score all the runs in one game. Oh my goodness. 19 to 1. Okay. Gracinger, yes, you have impressed. You've done well. So now let's bring someone in to fix their ERA to Dano. His ERA is really bad. Let's give him some time. Cook. Honestly, should we pinch hit him? Hey, you know what? Let's get, let's get some of the bench in here. Let Coco go there. Benson. Yeah, we're going to pinch hit Benson as well for Gonzalez. And then Austin. Yeah, you've had a hot game, but we're going to bring Morris in there for you. And then Reigns. Yeah, we're going to bring Etherton in for you. Just want to get more guys for more, some more ABs. All right, Bako, sure. Take him deep. Why not? Oh my goodness, Gonzalez takes him deep. 24 to 1. Holy crap, boys. Of course, Tadano's got to give up some runs, though. All right, well, I would say that was a massive win. 1 by 20, and I don't know how Tadano gets a save for that, but sure. All right, Peavy's back. I think Perez, oh, he's back in one day. Gracinger, yeah, your ERA, your ERA came down, so you're good to have a long relief roll here, I think, for us. Tadano, actually, let's bring him back up into the long spot. Gracinger can be actual relief to get more pitching. And then, yeah, PV's back. And then once Perez comes back, who's getting the bump? Might be Bueller or Hernandez. We'll see. Oh, he, he's already back. Alright, so Perez has a 360 ERA. Hundred innings pitched, four eighty six, one twenty six, four ninety. He's got what, forty eight walks. He's got thirty two, sixty nine strikeouts to one hundred and seven. You know, I think we just take Hernandez out. He can be a long relief guy along with Tadano. She who has the lowest stamina here, Alvarez. Maybe we bring Alvarez in as the setup guy. Bring Tadano down here. Gray Singer, yeah. Choi and Gracinger can be our 1-2 relievers. Tucker and Tadano back end. Alvarez setup man. Durazo closer. There we go. We'll run with the pen like that for now and see where it gets us. How, triple A's in first. Double A. Ooh, two games out and the A team's in first. Miners are doing well. MLB team's doing well. The, whole, the organization as a whole is doing very well right now. Uh, we have an 89 at short in Davis. Let's bring Gonzalez in there. And Simmet. Oh, low scoring affair. That, oh, shit. Damn, they scored two in the bottom ninth and one in the 11th, but Choi manages to shut the door and come away with the win for us. Okay, next up is the Yanks. Yankees are 13 out. And that's a four game series with them. Let's sim up to here. Well, Pitcher of the Months, don't care too much about that. Bueller, 5.13 ERA. I was really expecting bigger things from him. This guy was a top 100 prospect. Like He's been highly touted, but I think he just needs to get more um, innings pitched in, and then he'll grow. Because this year he's got 120. I think that's the most he's pitched in the majors, probably. So just let him keep plugging away. PV's back. He's doing well for us. Everyone else is doing pretty good, Everett. Hernandez isn't happy to be in the pen, but it is what it is. Gracinger, ooh, 554 ERA now. Tadano has an 876, bruh. <laughs> Alright, so Tadano has lost his spot up here. That is terrible. Alright, so someone else is coming up to get a chance now. I guess we bring Buck back. He's doing well down there. Alvarez is doing pretty good down there too, though. Everyone's doing good down here, that's the problem, but once we bring them up, they're not. Let's bring Jesse Crane in. 
I've always liked Crane. He seems to be pretty solid in this game, so we'll give Crane a shot. Oh, uh, we had an off day there, so that's fine. Everyone should be rested. Yeah, everybody should be rested for the most part for a while, so you know what? Let's just try to sim all, all, all of September and get through this chunk of the season. Did not mean to hit that. Uh, keep them on the 60 day. Alright, back to the sim we go. Ooh, PV bruised ankle. Suck it up. You're fine. Joy. Greasinger, 480 now. Tucker, 425. Jesse Crane, oh my god. Two innings pitched. ERA of 18 with two walks. That is some bad pitching. Alvarez has been getting some work in, though, it looks like. His ERA keeps dropping. He is still up there in the Cy Young race along with Willis, and Oliver Perez came back strong, and he's back in the hunt. MVP, Broussard's up there, Reigns, and David Wright's making the case now for it. That's good to see. PV's coming back in. Hernandez, you're out. Crane, and he hasn't pitched since. Okay. Alright, so it's September 30th. We are now six and a half games up on Tampa. That should have clinched our division. Yep, Tampa has clinched the wild card. What's our run scored? Like, we got 10 19. Anyone else even close to us? No one else has a thousand runs scored. Let's go, baby. Most runs scored in the league. Now, let's close it out against Baltimore here with a win. Oh, we still, still have a three game series against the Yankees. Okay. How is the race going? Cy Young race, Willis is up there, and Perez. And then MVP race, Broussard has fallen one spot to BJ Upton of Tampa Bay. That sucks. Let's see if we can get Broussard back into the conversation here. Uh, who else did we need? It was Willis and Perez who were up there. So Perez just pitched. Uh, PV, Willis, okay, yeah, Willis will get the third game, that's fine. Reigns is getting tired, Atherton goes in there, Morris goes in there, third base will be him, Coco, you're not going in for Broussard, Broussard needs to play to try to get his, um, MVP here. Oh, uh, we need, we need Broussard to get on base and just start stealing with him. Try and pad those stats a little bit for him here. Broussard, come on, Broussard. You gotta win this MVP for us here. Dealer's doing okay. Just there we go. Broussard steals second for us. Out of boy. Oh, Coburn. One out, base is loaded. You can't can't cash him? Come on. Out of boy, Broussard walked. Steal second, right? Someone, someone cash him in. Come on. All right, we're gonna bring Jesse Crane in. Crane, you just gave up two home runs. Are you fucking kidding me? That is terrible. Yeah, Crane's cut. Jesse Crane is getting sent down after that performance. That was terrible. Yeah, first order of business. Jesse Crane. See you later. Uh, Mendes, Ginter. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know who to bring up now. Do we bring Buck back up? I guess we bring Buck back up and hope Buck's figured it out. Alright, Broussard's probably not going to get MVP after that showing anyway, so let's give him a break, throw Coco in there. And then Davis is tired, so let's throw Etherton in for him. Need everybody 100% for playoffs and rest so they don't get hurt. Come on, boys. Let's end the year with a bang. Willis, sure, that's fine. Full starting lineup. Yes, there's the bats that we needed. Willis gets the win. Dontrell Willis, I think he just won the Cy Young. That is fantastic. And Broussard came second for MVP voting. That sucks. 
No, I want statistics. Come on. League leaders, Reigns led the league in average. Home runs, Wright's up there at 44. Reigns had 43 as a second baseman. Holy crap. Broussard up there for RBI. Swiped bags, Broussard with 34. Runs, no one. Hits, Reigns, 235. Doubles, Reigns at 53. Holy crap. Triples, lost from Colorado because their stadium. Walks, Broussard's up there with 100. On base percentage, Reigns, total bags, Reigns. Slugging, Reigns. how did Reigns not win the um, MVP? This guy's leading in like all categories. Ira Alvarez led the league, nice. Wins, Willis with 19, baby. Uh, saves, 47 for Samuels. How much did Durazo have? Durazo had 27. All right, let's advance day. There we go. Complete all our three-year contract goals. Ooh, gold gloves. We only got one out of two. That sucks. Oh, well. Let's see what the awards were. Upton with MVP over there. Kawasaki in the NL. Cy Young. Dontra Willis, baby. Let's go. And Tim Hudson in the NL. Rookie of the Year, Lopez and Reyes. Rookie of the Year, he's 29 years old. Wow. Relief Man, Efrod and Samuels. And Silver Slugger, David Wright at DH. Yep, that's why we signed him. Uh, Reigns at second, no no doubt. Broussard, yep. And then, okay, that's pretty good. Gold Glove, who won the one for us? Reigns got it. Okay. Expected, his fielding's what? Oh, it's only an 85. I thought, I he's not our top fielder, I thought. I thought we got better guys, but we'll take it. All right, boys, so that's the end of the season. Oh, my, look at that from the org. All of our teams qualified. The eight teams on a bye through this week. Playoffs are going to be a busy time for the Toronto Blue Jays. So next video, I will we'll go through the playoffs, see if we can defend our title. And, yeah, we'll see what goes on here. we got Texas right now. No, playoff tree, please. Texas. Other side is Tampa and the White Sox. Man, if we meet Tampa, I think we, we met an AL East team last year as well. So, we'll see. Tampa's pretty damn good. Milwaukee and Atlanta on that side. Colorado and St. Louis. Quick five-game series with Texas. Let's hope we can get by them and then make a run to the finals. So, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe for more content. And I'll see you in the next one.